everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome bunkhouse unit. Now, before you sign off, because it's a bunkhouse, this is perfect for couples as well, because the bunks only take up about 10% of the RV, and it can also be doubled for storage. This is the 2023 Dutchman Astoria model 2903BH. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Astoria and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you the Dutchman Astoria 2903. It's great for families, it's great for couples. Before you guys, before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good guys, I'm really excited to take a look at this Astoria. Again, it's just a really good all around layout. And it's, what I like to say is it's always good for like people who sometimes have kids or yep. grandkids, but also don't want so much room taken up by, you know, the, the kid space. So, Love it. Um, yeah, this is a great all around travel trailer. Without further ado, Will, let's begin. All right. Model is 2903BH. The actual tip tip length is 33 feet 9 inches. The dry weight is 6,938 pounds and the hitch weight is 796 pounds. Okay. Right up front here, we do have a very nice power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. This is a higher end travel trailer, so we have a molded fiberglass front cap with LED lights and an awesome front windshield. I love the front windshield. This is Dutchman, which is a division of Keystone. Right. Um, and so it does have a lot of same, similar Keystone features, one of them being that three year structural warranty. Right. Coming on down, we do have very nice storage, pass through, little cooktop for the outside. It does come prepped for the Lippert tire link. Cool. And we do have electric stabilizing jacks. I love that. Yes, sir. When I get to the camper, I just want to push buttons. That's right. I don't want to crank this. I'm not Soldier Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Coming on down, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Will, yeah. that has to be one of the longest awnings that I've seen on Right, the right. Very nice. Coming on down here, check out this door handle. You actually have push button, push code. That's awesome. Yes, sir. Right here, nice Moride steps to get in and out with a very big grab handle. Okay. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the nobles. I love those. LTST 215-75 R14 with Dexter axles there. Bracket for a TV on the outside, coax and power to awesome. watch TV. And then here it's just going to be like a little fridge. It sure is. is. Just a nice little ever chill refrigerator. Coming around back, Will. We do have a receiver hitch that's good for 300 pounds. It's good for bikes. You cannot tow behind a travel trailer. Okay. And even if you could, we wouldn't recommend it. No, not at all. Look at this huge storage. That's awesome. Again, because the way the bunks are in here, it's only this area. And so it makes it great for storage. And it does come, this one is coming with the backup camera already installed. Cool. 50 amp service here, Will. Very nice. Furion instant hot tankless water heater. I love that. Well, this checking off so many things that I are know. like requirements for us. That's where you dump your gray tank. Okay, a little bit of a bad position. Cable driven slide out system. And then here's where you dump your black tank. Black and gray, that's just your second gray. Black tank flush right here, which is really good. Okay. And then here is your water hookup. Potable water fill, potable, potable. City water connection little outdoor shower, cable, and everything that you're looking for. Cool. Also the other side of that storage. And would you look at that, Will? This unit also oh, has a slide topper on top. That's cool. Now, that's definitely gonna be an option, right? For Most sure. of the time, they're not gonna come with it. For sure, so that's only an option on this stock number. Okay. Which, we don't even have this stock number. Uh-oh. Which, that's only an option on this one, which is stock number 259547. There you go. Well, well, the outside of this Astoria looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Oh, it does have a stock number. 
All right, starting up front, you got a nice bedroom here. Split bathroom in the middle. Coming back, you have your dining area, living area, and kitchen. And then all the way in the back is that bunk room. Where are we starting today? We are starting with that bunk room because okay. a lot of people don't like bunk rooms, well, but I'm telling you, you are going to like this one. Yeah. Uh, before I begin, let's give a big shout out to Lippert. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the big bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Hi. All right, well again, thank you everyone for stay tuning in, all the couples out there, because you're gonna love this. Right. Well, look at this for storage. I love it. You have a door here. Check it out. Now, it's not a bunk room, it's a right. rear living. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. This is only 10% of the RV. You can use this for storage. You can take these out and you got wood. You can use it for storage. You can use this for storage. What I know is when you're camping, well, there is, there's, everything doesn't fit in there. You know what I'm right. saying? There is some bigger stuff and you can throw it back here. And again, now it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Right here, we do have the TV entertainment center. Very neat. Sound system right here. And then storage right there with a very nice fireplace. Cool. Then directly across is the Thomas Paine Theater seats. Check this out. I freaking love this. We do have slow ride shades right here. Okay. Very nice balances with the little wood trimming. Accent lighting, you couldn't see that. It's the accent, I it love is. it. Well, this is a very nice seat area. I'm loving it. Cool. And then check that out. You have a huge, u-shaped dinette All right and they thought of everything here well and i'll tell you why in a moment okay you can sit the whole family around right. it drops down to make a bed you got storage underneath here and storage underneath here now will yeah if we're a couple i don't like this is tight it's not right. it's not tight but it is tighter than normal and if you're a couple you don't need the u-shaped yeah dinette. yeah it's only two of you See what ah, they did there. So you can make it a regular. It's still kind of U-shaped dinette, but not really. You got it or you need help? Well, of course I need help, Will, but I, I know, think I don't want to mess up the camera, though. No. Make people dizzy. So I should have done it the other way. Right, because then it's going to go in. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah. now, I mean, you can eat all the food That's you want. That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? I love how they did that. Sorry, guys, I should have put it the other way. Right, because if you flipped it, like this side sticks out further, so it would go against those cushions, exactly. and it wouldn't stick out there so Absolutely far. phenomenal, Well, I love that they did that, um, and I'm glad we got to show everybody. Cool. And then, well, there's a very cool surprise about this kitchen right. area. I'm really excited for you to show everybody, but first, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. All right, Will. MSRP on this unit, stock number 259547, is $62,336. Will, that is MSRP. Nice. Sale price, please, Jen, make it. Show us the sale price, Jen. There Show you go. us the money. That is the sale price on this unit. And, Will, I don't know what that is. Right. America can see it, I can't. Here's what I do know. It doesn't matter what it is. Right. We can always get people a little bit of a better price. So if you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, go to generalrv.com slash Cash. I've linked that down in the description below. You can get to it from our website or please call 844-969-4033. Will, 
We are so glad to be back with General RV. Right. My opinion, the best dealership I've ever worked for in Will. Not only is it a phenomenal dealership, everybody that we know tries our absolute best, but the one thing everybody always does is give people the absolute best price in America. So please reach out to us, guys. We sell these nationwide, and then Will. Yeah? I want you to start with this side of the kitchen. Okay. But you're going to end with a bang boom surprise. Yes. Show us. All right. Sounds good. Is there anything over here? There is. Okay, cool. Let's start here then. Nice storage drawer there. Oh! Hey! Look at that. That's 156 dog trash can times two. Times two. Yes, sir. Got power right there. Sure do. A nice little flip up counter extension. Couple drawers right there. Very nice. Coming back up top. Got storage right there. Yes, sir. Decent countertop space, you know, mostly back there. A uh, nice extension faucet. I like how they did the black and gold. Yes, sir. Single bowl sink right there. Mm-hmm. And some storage underneath right there. Very nice. Got a graystone microwave there. Okay. Graystone range hood right there. And then a three burner graystone cooktop with the blue lights right here. How do you like that backsplash? Backsplash is nice. Mm. Definitely going to be easy to clean, you know. And it is not solid surface countertops. Nice little oven right there. And then, Will, take a step back. Yeah. Look at all the headroom you have. Yeah, it's, you know, it's got that curved ceiling. Yeah. So it feels great in here. Nice GE compressor fridge right here. Yes. Uh, so that works off a 12 volt, really nice, cools really quick. And there's no pantry in here. Whoa! So Look at get, that. You get a pantry space here, um, and you can take the shelf out and do a washer and dryer. Crazy, awesome. crazy. Um, and even if, even if you do the washer and dryer, because it's going to have to be an all-in-one, Yeah. Um, you're still going to have some storage space here, and then you'll have these drawers. And again, if you have the kids come in with you, maybe this is additional clothes storage for them. Maybe this is pantry space. It's just whatever you need. I personally wouldn't put it out washer dryer there i don't think i would either yeah i i, I, I i'm not a washer is, dryer guy but i it is nice that they i'm not an engineer but i don't think that would work well why it doesn't it get humid and stuff no it's it's vented oh okay so you're gonna have that's your vent right there for the mm. dryer um so i just feel like they're side. heavy i don't know did you open that drawer oh i think i didn't get the big ones there you drawer go. right there and right here very nice well yep cool Got that? Love that. Oh, and this does lock in. I didn't realize that. That's nice. Okay. Perfect. Then go to that shower, sir. Okay. All right. You do have a step up. Good size shower. Wow. Yeah. Actually, there's a good amount of headspace. I wasn't thinking that there would be because of that big step up. It's definitely wide. Uh, could be a little bit deeper, but I'm not going to fail it for that. It definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval, there Will. You go. That was very nice. It was. Right over here, we have the medicine cabinet. Oh, okay. with liquefy. There you go. Guys, link down below. You can get this on Amazon. This is created by the Matt's RV Reviews team. Right. The best RV toilet treatment in the industry. You know Right it. here, we have a sink. Storage underneath there. Place for you to keep your toilet paper. There you go. Porcelain, Will. That's what we need. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. And then to wrap it up with this bedroom area. Okay, you got a nice window here on both sides. Nice window there. Yes. King size bed. Little bit of closet space there. And then storage up top and all the way across. Second AC unit as well. I love that by Furion. You got power USB, little side table. Yes, little cubby in there as well. Yeah, same thing on your side. Yes, sir. Another wardrobe right there. There you go. This is uh, a place for you to hook up a TV. And then let's see if there's storage underneath the okay. bed. There sure is. Most certainly. Well, this is a fantastic unit at a fantastic price. Great quality as well. And again, it's for couples or families. I love the, the separation. But Will, that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love and three things we don't love about this unit. What do we do first? Three things we don't love. First? We can do loves first. No, no, no. We can do that first. Okay. Let's go. Go ahead. After you. Okay. Talk to me. What's I'm, a dislike? I'm going to say, you know, 
this kitchen countertop space is very, very limited. Okay. And I wish, because there is the room here, had they done a better extension, I would, I think it would have made a bigger difference. Um, because like you can put, you know, a crock pot here or a coffee pot or whatever, but you really almost have nowhere to like chop and prep food. Chop shop. Chop shop, that's it. Well, that's dislike number one. Dislike number two, I don't like this walk through bathroom here. I don't mind walk-through bathrooms, but when you do that, I need a door. Yeah. No door to the bedroom. Right. So if somebody's sleeping here and needs the bathroom, they got to walk through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something. If you don't have liquefied, it's going to stink in it here. Sure you know is. what I'm saying? That's dislike number two. And then, well, do you have a dislike number three? Because uh, I do have one if you don't. Go ahead. I don't like the fact that it's washer dryer prepped. Okay. Personally, and again, call me crazy. This is just an opinion, Well, I promise you. It's just an opinion. Yeah. I don't think a washer dryer is gonna do well in here. Why not? Or you don't know. Just the weight of this. Call me crazy, call me uh, dumb. Like, I, I just don't know. Right. I just feel like it's a lot of weight. I feel like it's a lot of stuff going on back here. And truthfully, I would have much rather seen this as just a huge pantry area. Right. That's, that's how I feel. Okay. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. And if you don't mind, I like to go first. Sure. I'm gonna say the nice radius roof in that front windshield. Right. Love that front windshield. It's absolutely fantastic, and it's just a great feature to have on a higher end travel trailer. Yep. That's number one. Well, number two. I'm gonna say this uh, dinette setup. I actually really like how they did that because I'm not a huge U-shaped dinette fan, but I see how they are beneficial at times. So this way you can have the best of both worlds. It's the best of both worlds. Well, yeah. speaking of best of both worlds, yeah. that's like number three, and that's going to be this door and this bunk room. Okay. Well, this giving you the best of both worlds, as in if you are a family, you got this. Right. Best of both worlds, as in if you do have grandkids or kids that sometimes come with you, they got sleeping space, or if you don't have any at all, this is just more storage exactly. space. Exactly. Absolutely fantastic. Well, this is the best of both of them, and I love this unit. There you go. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked it down below our website, on our website, or call 844-969-4033. Well, we are with General RV. We sell these all throughout the country. So please reach out to us on any RV so we can always get you the best price in America. You got it. What do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, I think this is a really really good travel trailer to fill you know people who have like multiple needs yes make sure to leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about it make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you absolutely everybody yes. so much for watching and well we'll see you next time